Nothing gets me more fired up for math than some brain food. And you know that I love to eat apples. So, let me tell you about my apple tree. One day I went out and I picked three apples, and then my wife went out and picked two apples, and we added those together, and we got five apples. Well, apples are kind of like variables, right? I can have three times x, I can add that to two times x, and that's going to give me 5x, right? Just like we added our apples together, we could add our x's together. So one day, something crazy happened. I went out to the store, and I bought two bananas. But we still had our five apples that we had just picked. So I wanted to see how much fruit we had. Well, we had two bananas plus five apples, and we had a total of two bananas and five apples. We didn't have seven apples, we didn't have seven bananas, we didn't have seven banana apples, right? We just had two bananas and five apples. We can think of these just like two different variables, like an X and a Y. Here we have two X's and five Y's. We can't combine those, so we just end up with two X's and five Y's. You may have learned this concept before as combining like terms, and that's exactly what it is. But in order for something to be a like term, it has to be exactly the same. Let's do some examples. Here we've got quite a messy problem here. 3x squared plus 2x plus y minus x squared plus 3x minus 12y. To start, we want to find out where our like terms are. Here I see an x squared term, and I see another x squared term here. So I can go ahead and put those together. 3x squared minus 1x squared, that's going to give us a 2x squared. Now that those are taken care of, let's move on to, how about our x term? Here I have a 2x, here I have a 3x. I can combine those, that's going to give me plus 5x. Now those are taken care of. And moving forward, we've got one last type of term here, it's a y, and we have negative 12y here. We combine those, we'll get negative 11y. Now that all our like terms are combined, we can't simplify any further, and there's our answer. Let's do another one. Here we have 2x plus 5 in parentheses plus 6 minus 10x in parentheses. Now don't get thrown off by these parentheses here. We're still just adding stuff together. So this 2x plus 5 could just become 2x plus 5 outside the parentheses. And our 6 minus 10x here would just be a plus 6 minus 10x. From this point, we can proceed and just combine our like terms. So to start off, let's look at our x terms. 2x, negative 10x, that's going to give us a negative 8x. Here we've got a 5 with no variables, a 6 with no variables, so that'll give us plus 11. That was just 5 plus 6. Can't combine any further, so we're done. Let's do one more. 3xy plus 2y minus 5y plus 2x squared y. Now this one's a little different from the last one. Here we have a subtraction sign rather than addition. This time there's something very important you need to remember, so write this down. Always distribute a negative across the parentheses. Let me show you what I mean. Let's start by just rewriting this front part, so we're still going to have 3xy plus 2y. Now instead of doing minus 5y plus 2x squared y, we're going to distribute this negative out. So we'll have negative 5y distribute minus 2x squared y. So see that this negative had to get distributed across the whole parentheses, just like you would do any distribution. Now we can look for our like terms. Here I have 3xy. Here's a y, that's not a like term. Another y, that's not a like term. Here's an x squared y. Close, but since this is an x squared, they're not exactly the same. So this 3xy has no like terms. Next, I have 2y minus 5y. I could combine those. That's going to be negative 3y, because 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Lastly, this x squared y. Again, none of these terms are like terms, so we can't combine anything, so we're just going to write negative 2x squared y, and that's as far as we can go. Speaking about apples, I thought when you became a teacher, people were supposed to bring you apples. I never get any apples from students. Oh well, such is life. C'est la vie.